What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Creed 4 is officially in the works, you guys. Michael B. Jordan will not only be starring in Creed 4, but he's coming back to direct Creed 4. I cannot wait. I absolutely love and adore this Creed franchise. I love and adore this Rocky franchise as well. Except for Rocky V. We can all agree Rocky V is definitely the worst out of the entirety of the Creed and Rocky movies. But I'm excited. I'm excited because Michael B. Jordan did a wonderful job on Creed 3. Being his first future film, his directorial debut, and he did that well. I mean, Creed made over 300 million, Creed 3 made over 300 million dollars after box office. I believe Creed 3 was the highest grossing Creed film in the franchise. So, it's a box office draw. I mean, Michael B. Jordan is extremely talented, not only in front of the camera, but behind the camera. And it makes you think, who has he been around? Ryan Krugler. He's been around Ryan Krugler since Fruitvale Station. And Ryan Krugler is an extremely talented director and visionary. He's talked to Bradley Cooper in recent interviews I've heard him say. Denzel Washington. So he's like a sponge. He's soaking all of this stuff in and he's utilizing all of this information. So I'm excited to see where he's going to take the story for Creed 4. Creed 3, you guys. Jonathan Majors, phenomenal. Damon, so good. Love that whole storyline. I don't know what's going to happen with that character, Damon. Because I would love to see Damon return. Especially to see, you know... Adonis and the Damon's relationship kind of, you know, get better over the years. You know what I mean? Them both being pro boxers and Damon finally getting his shot. You know, I would love to see them mend that relationship because it was so much believable in Creed 3. But with the whole Jonathan Majors, you know, legal situation right now, nobody knows what's going to happen with that. But I know his court date is coming up literally, I think, in the next up and coming weeks. Um, and you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens within, you know, just his, his whole career as a whole. Cause we don't know, you know, is he going to return to be Kane the Conqueror? You know, will he get another shot and have the opportunity of returning to the Creed franchise? Nobody knows at this point, but there's so many different angles that, you know, Michael B. Jordan can, can take Creed for. Apparently they have a script in the works. They have a story already lined out and it's phenomenal. And they look to start pre-production I think they said mid-2024. So I'm like, okay, well, Michael B. Jordan is definitely, definitely cooking up something for Creed 4. But I'm like, I thought he kind of retired after, you know, at, at the end of Creed 3. He came out of retirement to fight Damon. He's, he's, a, he's a much older boxer. I mean, we've seen it time and time before. I mean, look at the Rocky films. They're, they're a literal blueprint of, you know, what you can do with, you know, your, your, your main star, right? Rocky retired. Came back, retired, came back. So maybe that's the case for, you know, Adonis and, you know, in Creed 4. But I know they kind of hinted towards his daughter, Amari, in Creed 3 of her kind of picking up the mantle and becoming a boxer. So maybe that's what Creed 4 is about. Maybe, you know, she's, maybe they age her, right? It could be like 10 years later or whatever, right? And, you know, Adonis is, you know, he's still retired, but now he's training his daughter to pick up the mantle. Because I know that there were some reports Stating that they had to, they planned to do spinoffs and stuff like that. I know that there's an animated series in the works. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what, what they do with Creed 4. And who's going to be the main antagonist. Because so far, you know, the antagonists for these Creed films have been really good. With the exception of the first one, you know, I don't think he was, I, he really wasn't the antagonist of the movie. You know what I mean? He just, he, he was, in, in other words, I'm trying to put it. It was more vocal on the story between, you know, Adonis and Rocky and their relationship. You know what I mean? That was the more essential, you know, focus of the story. While you had your your your, your villain arc, it was much different from Creed 2. Because Creed 2, you had Ivan and uh, Ivan, Ivan, what's his name? Ivan and Victor Drago, right? That cat that came with so much backstory. That came with so much emotional draw. Because of the history between these two families, right? Uh, Apollo was killed because of Ivan Drago, right? In Rocky IV. So there was so much bad blood that, that you know, it, the chemistry, that the story, it all worked so well. And I still think that, you know, Victor Drago is my favorite antagonist out of the Creed franchise. But Jonathan Majors was literally a step below because he was, he was menacing. He was, 
he, he was a badass, dude. And, you know, Creed 3 had some of the best... I know some he, Creed 3 probably had the best boxing out of the entire franchise. It was so good. It was the first sports film to be shot on IMAX. It was so well thought out. The fighting choreography, Michael B. Jordan definitely took some inspiration from anime, which he loves, and you saw it. You know the punch where he, you know, um, Adonis punches him in the stomach, and then you know it shoots back to 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 Adonis, and he's like, oh, and then you see the sweat coming off his back. I was like, well done, dude. Or even at the very beginning of the film where he's fighting um, <laughs> the, the, the antagonist from the first movie, right? And he's like just, you know, slowly moving, seeing his moves or whatever. And then when it finally happens, you see, bow, and it's like slow motion. Oh, it was so well thought out. Creed 3 had the best boxing out of the entire franchise. But I will admit, it had the worst training montage out of the entire franchise as well. I felt like it was so underwhelming, like... Creed 1 nailed that shit, man. Ryan Coogler did a wonderful job with Creed 1. This, 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 these films are so rewatchable. That's why I love them so much. The Rocky films as well. They're just, they're, I can constantly put these on, you know, replays. Their rewatchability is so good. Like, especially for a sports movie. And I love sports movies, you know. So it's, it's rare that we ever get sports movies nowadays. When's the last good football movie or basketball movie we got? You know what I mean? Don't, and I'm not counting that whole remake of White Man Can't Jump because that, oh God, that was just terrible. But like, you know, it's so rare. Like The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler. You know what I'm talking about? It's one of my favorite sports movies. You know, it's just, sports movies are kind of dead. And to see that, you know, Michael B. Jordan is doing, you know, another Creed 4, you know, it, it, it's exciting to me because, you know, I grew up watching sports movies, The Replacements, Remember the Titans, you know, Any Given Sunday. You know, there's so many great football movies, essentially. Radio. I love radio. <laughs> So, you know, I'm down for more sports movies. I, I absolutely am. But put your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Creed franchise. Let me know what you guys think about Creed 4 officially in the works. And where do you think they're going to take the story for Creed 4? Do you think Adonis is going to be boxing or he's... Or is he going to be the mentor to his, his daughter, Amari, in the film? Post your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Peace.